My name's Ethan, and I'm at the Maritime Hockey League game between the Amherst Ramblers and the South Shore Lumberjacks, and you are watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And Alexander Ovechkin, one of my favorite players actually, probably in the top 15. I'm going to redo that top 15 list of uh, my favorite players, but Ovechkin's going to be in there. He just missed it last year, and I picked up this Ovechkin jersey here. As you can see, it's got eight Ovechkin on the back, got the C here. Um, I had to get a normal Washington Capitals jersey. I had to. It was, it wasn't even a choice to not get it. I saw it for $70. Had to get it. I couldn't resist. How do you not buy an Ovechkin jersey for $70? And that's Canadian too, so you Americans, that's probably like $50 American. So even though it was more than I usually spend on a jersey, it was still a good deal. I still feel happy about it. And now I have two Washington Capitals jerseys. The second one is there. Uh, now I just need a, a new, better uh, Washington Capitals hat. So Alexander Ovechkin is one of the greatest players of all time. It's not even arguable. He's potentially the the greatest goal scorer ever. Yes, I know we have people like, well, Malkin and and Bure, some other uh, Russian goal scorers, uh, Fedorov. I mean, the list goes on. Russian goal scorers are endless. Tarasenko, uh, they produce some incredible goal scorers out of the country of Russia, Avechkin being no exception. Is he the greatest goal scorer of all time? Maybe. I don't know. I'm not ready to make that claim yet, but I wanted to talk a little bit about where he stands in a few categories as far as points. So in current active players, Thornton has 1,427 points, Marlowe has 1,107 points, Avechkin has uh, 1,088 points. So Avechkin is probably going to leapfrog Marlowe by the end of this season or early next season. So Avechkin's going to go to second of second in current active players in points, which is pretty impressive. Here's the problem. <laughs> Crosby has 1,083 points, so he's five points behind Ovechkin. <laughs> so Ovechkin is probably not going to get to that second place uh, mark because Crosby's going to leapfrog Ovechkin and Marlowe. Uh, Crosby's not going to catch Thornton until he retires, but uh, yeah, it's, it's just funny. Ovechkin's right there to be number two, but then Crosby's like, no, I'm here too, and then see you later. Damn, Crosby. Uh, and the thing is, Crosby's done it in 140 less games. Remarkable. Truly remarkable. But Ovechkin has uh, 1,088 points. That makes him 62nd all time. All time in the history of the NHL. Already. He's about to, to break into the top 60. He is so close. And if we look at his goals, he's 20th all time. All time, he's 20th in goals. He passed, uh, who did he pass earlier this year? I can't remember, but he passed someone recently. And he got into that top 20. And I wanted to take it kind of a little further. So, hypothetically, Ovechkin has, how old is he? 32? Something like that. He has, what, eight years left? He's He said he wants to play past 40 because uh, he's a physical machine. He works out all the time. And he probably can play past 40. But let's just assume he plays till he's 40. So that's another eight years and say he averages, he's going to decline as he gets older. So let's just bring the average down to 20 goals per game. Or 20 goals per game. <laughs> 20 goals per year. Yeah, that's a good thing. Good correction there, Neil. Uh, 20 goals per year for the next eight years. That's 160, if my math is correct, 160 goals in the rest of his career. Seems a little low, but... Let's just not, we won't get ahead of ourselves. Let's keep it at 20 average. So 160 goals. He's got, what, 588 goals now plus 160. It's 748, something like that. 7588 plus 160. Yeah, 748. So uh, that would make him, I think, fourth all time just behind... Oh man, I should have looked this up before, but I'm pretty sure it's fourth of all time. I'll tr I'll take a screenshot and put put uh, the top like five or the top ten or whatever, so you can see where he would place. But I think it's I think it's fourth if my memory is correct. All time, that's incredible. And if he p produces at the same rate he's producing now, 
we could see him challenge for second for sure, maybe first. I don't think he can catch catch Gretzky. I just don't think he can do it. But he's in the realm where if he if he really plays at the same rate, there's there's a chance he could do it, which is absolutely crazy. But uh, yeah, it's 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 pretty remarkable. If you look at his points per game, he's uh, 19th all time. 19th all-time points per game at 1.12. If you look at his goals per game, they're 0 0.606, and that's sixth all-time. Um, sorry, that's sixth in active players, I believe. Yeah, that's that's not. Oh, sorry, no, that's sixth in all-time. Sorry, I'm I'm having a hard time reading my own writing here. Sixth of all-time in goals, so that's incredible. Uh, the only Russian player with more goals per game than Alexander Ovechkin. I'm going to give you a second to think about it. Just take this moment while I'm talking and think about who could have scored more goals per game than Alexander Ovechkin as a Russian. You have your answer? I already mentioned him in this video. It's Pavel Burry. Pavel Burry has uh, 0.623, so just above Ovechkin, uh, but still a pretty fairly significant difference if you like if you look at the actual points per game. It's uh, it is significant. I think Burry only played just above 700. And Ovechkin's, I think, like kind of like 980 games or something at this point. I'm making this video, so uh, I, I, at this point, he's probably not going to pass Beret because he, Ovechkin will start to decline. Beret unfortunately had to leave early due to injuries. He was my favorite all-time Russian player. No, I don't. I don't think any Russian player has even come close to like overpassing Beret for my favorite Russian player. There's, there's not even anyone close. Uh, I, I love Beret so much, and specifically when he played for Vancouver, uh, it was amazing. But yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about Ovechkin. This video doesn't really mean anything, and I kind of stumbled through it. I apologize for that. But I had some fun, and I got to make a video and wear this jersey, which I really like. Uh, I mentioned this in the other video with the Columbus jersey, but they have this like elastic thing down by the wrists. I really like that. Uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, lots more videos coming today, so keep an, keep an eye out for those. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new here, hit the hit the like button or hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. <laughs>